course are in the players to this let's play series so we've now got boba fett unlocked we've had a go at attacking some units now it's time to talk about what the game actually is about finally he says um so you see on the map here on the battlefield this is a smaller battlefield this is like a training battlefield in the proper one versus one the map will be a little bit longer and there's also where the middle turrets are on both the maps there will be some more obstacles like an ex extra defensive barrier as well and the maps are a little bit bigger and in 2v2 the maps are a lot bigger and you've got three lanes one down in the middle and two at the sides so if you think about clash royale as an example for those of you who have played that game um, you can get yourself a one turret win two turret win or a three turret win but in force arena you can get a four turret win and the fourth turret being the shield generator which is right at the very back there protected by the middle turret and the object of the game is is to win obviously um, but you can do it by by killing one turret or you can do it by two turrets it depends on how obviously how the game goes but for example if you take down the middle turret and then the shield generator if a shield generator gets destroyed it would be an automatic four turret win that is the objective of the game so for example you could take down the top right hand turret there or the bottom right hand turret you could take down then take down the middle one and then take down a shield and that will give you an automatic win and it won't matter how many turrets he's, he, he's done taking of yours because you're taking down his shield generator you will get a win so for example if you lose all your turrets but your shield generator is still there and you manage to destroy his shield generator before yours you will win the match within a given time but obviously if time runs out each match lasts three minutes if time runs out and he has got more turrets than you standing you will end up being beaten and the idea is that you drop down your units to protect your turrets and try and avoid taking damage on your turrets as often as, as possible you can repair turrets in the game by using certain cards but at the start of the game and at the low levels you can't do that until you unlock the cards that let you repair um, so let's jump into a game and there you go that's what we we're talking about earlier on there the turrets want to be attacking and that is a shield generator right there and there's the enemy leader so like you you've got a leader and like the enemy the enemy will have a leader and that will be dependent on who they are for the first few games we are playing against a computer but when you're playing against other human players they'll have a leader favorite to them and again they may be new to the game so they might have one of the starting leaders as well and you can kill the leaders too but killing leaders doesn't really win you the match bear that in mind it doesn't matter how many leaders you kill um, but the idea is to get down the turrets that is your objective you don't need to get all three you just get down one as long as yours are standing you will win the day and here we are here so let's jump into a, a, a game so right now he's dropped down some units here you see he's going to be attacking my turret now and what we need to do is counter that so we can either move over with a leader and i'll do this now i'll cover it like that and that'll kill him so we'll push one thing i like to do is build up slowly from the back which is a good strategy to deploy so you want to use your slow moving cars like sand trim is really slow and that is like a grenade, and everything is now dead and we'll force him with that in front we'll attack luke stormtroopers behind protecting the turret at all times i'll now throw in an airstrike and that will kill these troopers but a sand trooper didn't so what we'll do now move on to take down this turret we can now deploy some more stormtroopers behind us by tapping turret is gone we are now on to the second turret in the middle if we take this down the shield generator will be ours and as you see on the ui there it now says there's one turret missing because we've now destroyed one and the box is now a little bit wider that tells you about the shield generator and that's a timer left of the game so another card will go in there because the grid is open up now this turret's been destroyed we can now go on to that there this green thing here is a health pack so we'll steal it nothing to stop us stealing it we can do that and use that thank you very much Drop some more units because we can kill luke off got onto it on the shield generator now we'll take this down hopefully there we go we're now onto the shield i used my special attack on it there was a ton of damage air strike in there and that'll be a gg so the four corners of the map you have a health pack and the same goes with two versus two 
and then basically you can heal yourself in the game and they will respawn and recharge um, on a timer cooldown. Once they disappear, they'll come back. But you can use the enemy ones, nothing to stop in stealing the enemy ones, for example, so they can't heal themselves, which is a good strategy to deploy. So we've got a pack for that. Let's have a look. Pick it open and we get in there. We get battle droids, so this is obviously for General Grievous. Really weak cars, but they're good as fodder in the game. Cheap at two energy too. That's all we get. Well, okay. And there we have it. Welcome to Force Arena, it says. Next. So we've got some training games to go. So if we play this training match, we get Slave 1, which is Boba Fett's unique card. We talked about uniques in the earlier videos. And this is like a backup card. And obviously, because it's an air unit, it deals a ton of damage. And the, and the sound effects are amazing. So let's jump into a training game and get Slave 1 unlocked. So this is the battlefield right now. You see our green health bar, health packs in the corners. And you've got the camera control here. You can zoom right out. Zoom right into the minimap, etc. That's where, how it looks. So we'll come across here right now. We'll deploy down some, some cards there. So what I'll do, I'll stand to the side. And that should then attract some of these units over away from the turret. We're going to try and keep everything away from the turret as best as we can. I'm taking a lot of damage from Sabrina here, but it's not a problem here. Zooming in, zooming in, zooming out. So I've got I'm low in health. So I run over here, double click, pick up the health pack. There you go, health goes back up. Deploy a card behind because my health my um, energy bar is full up. Nothing to stop me countering top left, so I'll do that as well. Like so. But it can leave you open to attack. So we'll attack to be with our special ability. Battle droids in front. Stormtroopers behind. She will die there. See you later, Sabine. And here we go. Onto the shield generator. Hopefully again. Drop down another card now because we can. Pick up the health pack. Attack that turret there. Notice now we're losing a lot of units. So we, we want to get out of there now. Otherwise we're going to get attacked and, and maybe die. We don't really want to get killed because um, if we do, we'll be open to attack. Battle droids in there. Use my special ability. Not worried about that trooper up there because we just die quickly. As you can see there. And I'll come across and pick up our health pack from here. So you can zoom out the battlefield as often as you want to check the map, etc. So we'll build up the slow attack from the left lane. Drop in your slowest card at the back, which is like your um, sentry gun droid there. Sand Trooper behind, and what he'll do, he'll protect that to an extent where if there's any rebel troopers in the way, he'll just blow them up. Now notice there now, I killed Sabine and I got an extra energy credit for that. So if you kill leaders in the game, you will get an extra energy. Pick up the health packs and need that, thank you very much. You'll push now on this right lane. Drop a little, little bit higher up the map now because Sabine's under pressure. We'll focus on the shoe generator. Next, after this turret goes down. Now gone, we now drop some more cards and some more cards because of the energy spare. And the game's going to be over, GG. So that is a four turret win. Three turrets destroyed and also the shield generator giving us four victory. Which is really good. And this is deck info and it tells you the cards you've got. So once you reach tier two and tier four, that is when you unlock the extra slots to play against. And what this basically means at the moment is that we've got four turrets, that includes the shoe generator, and we killed the enemy leader five times, which is good. And handy because some guild missions require you to kill guild, guild, kill, kill, guild leaders, kill leaders, <laughs> if that makes sense. So let's get our slave one pack. Here we go. Impressive, most impressive. And in the next video, we will talk about the, the game UI. So I'll tap to unlock this. Three seconds to unlock it. As I said, most card packs will be three hours. And we'll open that up now. And there's Slave 1, new card discovered. Which is great. So we'll add that to our deck. But we'll talk more about the cards and the decks in the next Star Wars Force Arena Let's Play video. Thanks for watching. And may the force be with you.